million dollar deals, where's my pen? Bitch, I'm signing. I like those Balenciagas, the ones that look like socks. I like going to the Tula, I put rocks all in my watch. I like sexes from my exes when they want a second chance. I like proving niggas wrong, I do what they say I can't. They call me Cardi, Cardi, Bangin' Body, Spicy Mommy, Hot Tamale, Hotter Than a Shot, Molly, Burr, Go. So that's impressive, how much I'm messing with my feelings in my heart. All right, so today's hair is from Amazon.com. Okay, Amazon Prime. This is from Sue Bella. This is a 13 by 4 HD lace frontal wig, 180% in density, and this is 24 inches. This video is not sponsored, okay? So now that the wig is here, this is the overall construction. This comes with three combs in total, and it comes with a drawstring at the nape. And like I said, this is the hairline that comes pre plugged all right, guys, so I made a quick trip to Sally's to get all the products that I need. I got some Blonde Brilliance Developer and Bleach. I got some Salon Care Developer and the number 40. Also got some vinyl gloves. I wish they had the black ones, though. And I got some foil half sheets. I got $500 for $12, y'all. That's a steal. So this is the overall up-close and personal shot of the hairline. All right, guys, so this was a few months ago, and I wanted to do the trend that everyone was doing, um, which was coloring the roots and leaving the rest of the hair the same color. So that was the whole purpose of the video. Um, I actually went, I actually purchased this hair a year and a half ago and just now started working on it back in February. Ain't that insane? Who does that? Me. So anyway, y'all. As you guys can see, this is the hair and it's processing, but we're going to skip this, okay? This is how it came out, and I was just going to color the roots and be done, but I changed my mind, and we're going to dye it back black. So anyway, y'all, I am putting on my gloves because we're switching up the entire unit. As you guys can see, I have my little bleach bowl and little products. I got this bowl from Dollar Tree. You don't actually need a hair dyeing bowl. I don't know why people think you do, but you don't. Um, I put four scoops of that power, I mean powder in there, and then I'm just pouring developer in here. Now, I don't have direct measurements. I never use the correct measurements. I've been doing this for a while now, so I just eye it. But this is the consistency you want your bleach. So this is what the unit looks like. It does have a lot of flyaways, y'all. Now, don't come for me, y'all. The <laughs> front of the unit is brown. Like I said, I did not like how the, I don't know. I just changed my mind and didn't want to do that no more. So I tried to watercolor the frontal portion of that black and it just didn't work. Eventually, I had to go in with some Arctic Fox dye and it was like a blue black dye. So I actually had to manually put that on the frontal so, yeah, we're going to fix it. I don't show that on camera, but I end up fixing it after I, I lighten the hair up. So, anyway, y'all, I'm just distributing the bleach all throughout the hair evenly, okay? If you don't, some areas will be lighter than others, and nobody has time for that, okay? So, with this hair in particular, um, I, I feel like it's not giving 180% in density. I feel like it's giving me more so 150%, but... That's neither here nor there. <laughs> I also felt like it was a lot of flyaways. When I was into the unit, I noticed that, like when I was bleaching it, I noticed that the root section in the in the down to the middle of the hair shaft or hair strand, it was thicker than the bottom. So I don't know if they were using different size tracks to install the unit. That way it will appear like it's 180% density, but it's really not giving that. Because when you say 180% density, it has to be thick from the root to tip not just the root to the middle of the hair so i'm just keeping it above with y'all But as you guys can see, this unit is processing very, very fast. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes to put it on um, the entire sections that I, that I was bleaching. But I would just advise you to work as quick as possible. You don't have to brush, you know, to the point where you're missing sections. But 10 to 15 minutes. And then once I did 
finish up the entire unit i placed some foil on it and i left let it sit for 30 minutes but i checked it every 10 minutes so it wasn't over processed So for the first time, me rinsing out the unit, I use Color Security Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is what the hair is giving us, okay? I really love that stuff because it just makes the hair very soft and silky. So this is my second attempt bleaching it. And as you guys can see, it's not certain parts are kind of give it 613-ish. But this is what it's looking like. I did add um, conditioner and a hair managed treatment just to bring back the moisture. I felt like it was a little dry for me bleaching it twice. So I definitely had to go in and make sure the hair was going to be nice and moisturized and not drying. So I'm going in with Ardent Fox's Aquamarine and this is the hair dye I'm using today. So I'm going to start with the frontal section and I'm using a toothbrush. I'm, <laughs> this is not a toothbrush that I use, okay? And I'm just going in with some foil to stick underneath of that section because if I would just go in and then lay it down and move on to the next section, that dye would just bleach on the lace or bleed on the lace. So I wanted to make sure I had the foil under there protecting the sides of the lace so it won't be blue okay so using the toothbrush is just so easier for me to put the color on it makes sure it's getting every strand it just gives you more control and allows you to be more precise um i do have a lot of black strands mixed in the blonde hair but it was because it's just too the section that i pulled out wasn't as even so it would be too much work trying to separate the black from the blonde so i just colored the entire thing so, like I said, I'm just going in to make sure every strand has some dye on it because no one wants blonde root. Um, I'm taking a larger hair dyeing brush to deposit the color onto the back and the middle section of the unit. I went in with the Kiss Limelight color and i was thinking that it was gonna have like some lime green highlight and no baby this hair wasn't light enough to do that so i actually went back over it with the aquamarine shade and just mixed them two colors together to get some type of green y'all I'm a little rusty. I haven't bleached and colored hair in at least two years now. I think the last video I did was back in 2019 and I don't even know if it's still um, public. It's probably private. <laughs> but we're gonna do this to both sides of the unit just so everything can be looking the same, so. Now we're just gonna go ahead and install the lace. As you guys can see, the lace is given like a white tint. So we're gonna have to go in with some tinting spray to make sure everything blends. But the color, look at the shine and the, the luster and the body. This wig is so pretty, period. So I used the Ebon Tinted Lace Spray. This is in the shade medium dark brown. And sis, we're gonna still have to do some work. So I'm just going in and adding my big head. Why well, can't talk today? My big head, my bed head. I said big head. 
<laughs> my bed head wax stick and I'm just gonna go in with my hot comb and make sure everything is laid down but in this clip y'all can really see the blue black coming from from that hair dye so if you guys are interested in a, a pretty blue black dye definitely check out audit box I'll have it linked in the description section below so we're gonna go ahead and cut the lace off. If y'all see some holes in the lace, it's because like I told you, when I first did the unit back in February with the bleached roots, it definitely, I definitely had a different plucking technique back then. So I was just puncturing holes all up in it. <laughs> so I've changed, okay, I've gotten better. this is the supreme hold i really love this version y'all it dries super fast and it just makes me my installation time quick because just is how fast it processes and y'all know i love this stuff i rave about it all the time um i'm making sure to stretch my lace from ear to ear so it can lay super duper flat um like y'all can see the lace is still kind of bright so we will have to go in and fix it so it can blend as best as possible All right, so she's giving a little casket ready. It's getting a little ghostly. So we're gonna have to go in and deepen up the hairline. I'm using my cream foundation by Ruby Kisses. This is in the shade 13 or the level 13. I'm using the darkest shade just to color in on that lace because it's giving who, what, and why. I'm going in to set the cream foundation with my Morphe Brontour shade. And I feel like this really helped a lot. Now I'm just going in with my elastic band and we're going to tie this down and let it melt. I let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. So boom. Okay. So it's giving us not ghostly. Okay. It's not looking as ashy as it did in the late, latest clips, but y'all already know me. I can't just leave my laces like that. I feel like it looks 20 times better though. So mm -hmm, don't do that. We're going <laughs> to add some baby hairs because there are still some of the sides that I can see and I just don't like it. Okay, so baby hairs will do the trick when you cannot fully hide the line of demarcation. That's just it, y'all. Make your life easier. Don't be stressing and struggling. <laughs> just add some baby hairs and call it a day. So I'm going in with my Got To Be Glue Gel to make my baby hairs. And I'm trying to not make them too hard and stiff. So I use as less as product as possible. But we're just going to do our little swoops with my comb. I didn't use my flat iron to do the baby hair today. I just freehanded them. So this is what it looks like once I finish my baby hairs. I am just going to go in to create a part because what? I really love this color, like this blue black color. Now, I don't know if it would be the same if you just put this dye on top of already black hair. Mind you guys that my hair was bleached on the roots. That's why it looks really, really good. But we're just going to go ahead and hot comb this hairline one more time. And this is just to get that. Uh, middle part more sleek and more flatter okay um i just wanted to note y'all see how good the hair looks it doesn't look fried it doesn't look damaged it has a lot of body it has a lot of shine and it has a lot of moisture to the hair um as well so it was very very healthy now i'm taking that lighter shade i'm just gonna place it in the middle just so the part can pop So now I'm just taking some scissors and creating two blunt cuts at the end of the unit just so everything could be even. 
Um, I also go into the unit and create some layers as well. Originally, I was just going to go in and add some beautiful, soft um, bombshell curls. But you see what happened was your girl got lazy. Look at the color, y'all. It came out so pretty. Nobody's fun to tell me nothing, okay? I love it. Like, I could have styled it, though, but y'all, don't pay that no mind. So, yeah, this unit, I love working with it overall. I wanted to point out and say that this is not, the density is not 180. They can say 180 all day long, but it's definitely giving me 150, maybe 140-ish, but definitely not 180. This really um, mimics my natural hair density when I have it pressed out and straightened. So if you guys are looking for something more on the natural side, definitely would 100% recommend this unit. I had minor tan, I mean, I had minor shedding. I didn't experience any tangling. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. All information in regards to the unit and the products that you on his hair will be listed down in the description section below and until my next video your girl will see you later bye guys so that's impressive.